All right, so today I am going to be doing an OpenBSD artwork tier list on every single release. They put out a poster, or at least they used to. Now they just put out like a small logo or cover photo or something. I don't know really the specifics, but regardless, I am here to, I guess, make a tier list. I think it's just kind of a, a funny kind of video I decided to make. Nothing really to it, but this is the uh, OpenBSD related video that I put in that poll previously. So let's get straight into the video. The first piece of artwork we have is right here, and it is, uh, I think, 3.2, but I don't remember. I don't remember when they actually started, and let's make it a little bit larger here, and I think it looks, I mean, it's okay. It's a good, like, first piece of artwork, so I'm just going to put it in, eh, you know, and the tiers, I feel like they're pretty self-explanatory. Wow. Okay. So have that there I'll keep them kind of small because we have a lot there's like 40 something and then accompanying the OpenBSD release was also an open SSH release and it's basically like the same thing with robot and a cowboy kind of puffy so we're just gonna say the same thing for that one we're just gonna say eh. make that small the next thing that we're going to look at is this one and it appears, uh, it doesn't have the version number on it, but um, I don't really get the reference, that's why I made this don't get reference. If it looks like kind of cringe, but I don't get the reference, I'll put it in don't get reference. So that is where this one is going to be going. Uh, one second, here we go. Now they've started version numbers, and this one is 2.8, and I have to say, this one is probably the most based one out of all of them, so it is definitely going in the based category up here. I don't know why it's lagging so hard, I'm not going to lie. Anyways, right in the base category, let's make that big just so everybody knows. Probably going to be the best artwork we look at today. Now this one, it looks kind of like one of those uh, informational magazines that you'd get as like a parent, like, ooh, the internet is so dangerous for your child. So I'm going to put it in cringe, honestly. It just reminds me of those. So I'm not really interested that much in taking a look at something. Like if I saw that, I would not want to check out the outbreak system. Next we have some kind of, I have no idea honestly what this is. Something about being free. Uh, I'm gonna give it an eh. I don't know. It's not like cringe, but it's like whatever. You know, it's just a release artwork. It doesn't really, doesn't really ring out to me. It doesn't strike me as special at all. Next we have this one, and I think this one actually looks pretty cool. Honestly, I don't really get the reference here either, but I think. It deserves to be cool. It just looks cool. I mean, I like his jacket and the chain. I think it's kind of funny. So we're just gonna put that right there. And next we have a very obvious 007 reference. So this one is definitely going in based, honestly. And uh, there's not really much to say about it other than I think it looks pretty cool. Next we have this one. It kind of looks like Star Wars, but I know it's not Star Wars. Uh, but it seems like the type of thing that would be in Star Wars. It, more, it looks more like a like a Prince or a King Arthur or Camelot kind of thing, to be honest. But I have no idea what it is. I don't really get the reference, but I do think it looks cool. So I will put it in the cool category. We have this one here. I don't really like it, but I also do not get the reference, so it is going to go in don't get reference. Next, let's take a look at this one. Once again, don't really get the reference. Not really that cool besides, you know, actually, you know what? I see the pipe now, and I love pipes, so I think this one's going to go into based because pipes are based. Next we have one that some kind of cowboy theme. 
I think it's pretty cool when I said it ought to be free. I meant it. That goes kind of hard. So I'm going to put this one in based as well because, you know, free software is pretty based, honestly. And I think the logo, or not the logo, I think the design looks cool. Let's see here. Next, Wizard of Oz. Loved that movie or play or whatever. I think Wizard of Oz is cool. And then Wizard of OS, I, I just think that's funny. That's also going to go into cool along with this other, um, I don't know, the one that I thought was kind of funny. I didn't really get the reference, but I do get the reference in this one, obviously. I, I would assume most people would. Indiana Jones, obviously. Never really was a fan of Indiana Jones. I think it's like a faithful recreation of the original art, but I'm not really a big Indiana Jones guy, so we're going to put in eh. Next, Attack of the Blob. I have no idea what this is. I think it's kind of cringe, honestly. And even if I did, I probably would still think it's cringe. Uh, I feel like I should understand this one, but I don't. Uh, I think it's okay, I guess. I don't really, like I said, I don't get it. No, I'm going to put it in don't get reference because I'd probably put it in cringe, but I don't really understand it, so we're going to get rid of it. Another one, Puffy Baba and the Ten Vendors. Once again, I don't get the reference at all. And this is where they start putting secure operating system at the top, and I think that's pretty cool. And since this one's kind of like a trend set or whatever, I'm going to put it in cool. This ship, honestly, I think the, the look on his face is pretty cool and the ship is actually pretty awesome so I'm gonna put this one in based as well next one Star Wars uh, I think this is uh, Empire Strikes Back or maybe it's a new hope I'm not sure which one is supposed to be parodying but I like kind I kind of like Star Wars I used to watch it a lot as a kid but not anymore uh, I think the anything past six is kind of garbage but we're gonna put that one in base because that's one of the original trilogy I don't really get this one. It reminds me of Tron, so I think that's kind of cool. And I think the design is cool anyway. So let's just put that right here in cool. Next, I don't really get what this one is. It kind of reminds me of the Death Star at the bottom, but I'm pretty sure that's not what it's going for. So we're just going to put it in cool because I like it. It has, you know, Puffy going over the computer components. I think, I think it's just the symbolism is cool there. Superman, I'm not really into the superhero stuff, I'm more like the Joker, so we're going cringe. Next we have something, I feel like I've seen a movie cover like this before, but I don't really get the reference, so once again, don't get the reference. And I also don't really like it either, but we'll keep it there. This one, I don't get the reference, but it's going in cringe, and it's probably the most cringe one we've seen so far. This is, I assume, parodying Mad Magazine, which I think is pretty funny. So I am going to place it in cool. Ghostbusters, never really was into the series or movies or anything, so it's going to be placed in eh. I don't really get this one. I think it's like Fallout, maybe? Uh, I don't know. No way to be sure. Well, there probably is a way to be sure, but I'm going to put in don't get the reference. This one is, I think, Metal Gear because of the, the font at the top and because, you know, just by nature of being Metal Gear, that's going to base. I don't really understand this one, but it does, it looks kind of weird. The face looks kind of weird, so I'm going to put it in eh. It's not really an appealing design, but I think it's probably some kind of parody that's going for. Back to the Future, obviously, based, great trilogy. Well, the first two were good, the third one, I couldn't even watch it all the way through. I don't really get this one, it kind of reminds me of Shin Megami Tensei, but honestly, it, it still looks like fire, so we're going to be putting it up there in based. This one, it kind of reminds me of 21 Jump Street, but I'm probably sure that's not what it is. Uh, it's, it's okay of artwork, I guess. I mean, I think it looks kind of cool, but... Uh, it's still gonna go in eh. 
I don't really get this one. It's probably some kind of like movie cover that's parroting. But I think it's cool that it's showing all of what I assume to be the developers. I'm going to put it in cool. Actually, you know what? Because the developers are OpenBSD are pretty based, I'm going to put that in based. I don't really get this one. Once again, so I'm going to put don't get reference. OpenBSD 6.0s. I don't really know what to think about it. It, it kind of looks cool, but then at the same time, it kind of looks cringe. I don't know if I would. Let's. I guess I'm kind of judging it based on like if I would purchase it. Um, I don't know if I would judge. I don't know if I'd buy it. So I'm just gonna put in. Eh, I'm kind of torn between cool and cringe. So we're just gonna put it right in between. This one just looks based because Puffy's a samurai. Enough said. I think there's one below. Yep. This one, I think the uh, the sea shanty vibe is what they were going for with this one, and I know that because the song for this release, which maybe I'll do a song tier list eventually, the song for this release like was a sea shanty. It was about the three line diff. If you're unfamiliar with the story, well, you can just go listen to the song. You'll get a pretty good grasp. This one is Harry Potter, immediate cringe. I'm not sure what this one's going for, but it is kind of funny with the tin foil hat. I'm going to put it in cool. I'm not really sure what this one's going for either. Maybe like the modern corporate art. I'm just going to give it an eh. It looks, it looks okay like as art, but I don't know if it's really, it's probably, yeah, but I'm not saying anything else about it. I don't really, I don't really have the words to articulate my point. This one just looks epic. I'm not going to lie. It's going up there. Don't really have anything to say about it, just look at it. OpenBSD 6.7, I'm sure, like I said before, it's going for something, but I just don't understand it, so I can't accurately judge it. However, I do think it looks okay. This one looks cool, so I'm going to put it in cool. I like the cyberpunk looking kind of theme. Other than that, I'm, I'm not sure what it's parodying, but I still think it looks cool, so. Yin and Yang. I've never been a big fan of people talking about the yin and yang. I think the design is pretty cool, but I'm not really a fan of the elements, and I don't really like that it's, I mean, I guess it's black and white. I, that, I almost said I don't like that it's black and white, but you know what, it, it's supposed to be black and white because yin and yang, that makes sense. So you know what, we'll, we'll keep it in eh. Starry Night, or I think it's actually called Starry Pointers, officially. This one I think is pretty cool. Uh, I don't really know what else to say about it besides it goes in cool. Getting near the end here. Oh, also, uh, I should mention for 7.1, this one on the screen right now, is the very first release I, of OpenBSD I used, which doesn't seem like long ago, but they release them every six months, and what are they working on? 7.3 now? So, it's been, well, it's, I think it's actually literally been six months since I started using OpenBSD. It was June, maybe, June or July. But I do like this artwork. I've always been a fan of this uh, piece whenever I see it and things. I forget, it's something wave. I probably should know if I like it. And then the last one, one diff, two okays, commit, blowfish. Everybody knows one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And I think it's pretty funny. So, you know, I'm going to put it in based just because that's that's pretty creative. So that was all the pieces of artwork. Let me know what you guys think. If I'm cringe or if there's certain references I probably should have gotten. Anyways, thanks for watching.